So in this video, I want to look at calculating the number of joists that we need for our floor. And once again, whether it's a platform floor or a cutting floor, doesn't matter. We can use the same method. So we're looking at joists this time. So we'll get around there, get a plan view. There's our bearers that we worked out in the last video. And this time we'll look at the joists. So the formula is similar. Oh, before we get to the formula, remember that um, we need to make take off our brickwork and our cavity on either side on a brick veneer house. So we actually get the dimension of the floor, not the dimension of the brickwork. So commonly 150 mil on either side or 300 on both sides, taken off the brickwork dimension. And down here, um, where we have our internal corner, so it works out that we don't need to take anything off these internal dimensions or the dimensions of the walls that make up the internal corner because whatever you take off here, you just end up adding back on here. So you don't end up taking anything off. So they stay the same as they were in the bearer video. As I was saying before, the formula for Joyce is similar but not exactly the same. This time we're going to take the length of the building, or the length of the area, and divide that by the joist spacing. So if we're going to use this area here, as we did with the bearers, we'll take the length this way rather than the width. So the length of the area. And again we have to add one at the end of it, and then we also add an extra bearer for every external wall and any load-bearing walls that are in that area as well. So the formula in this case would be, or the actual figures, 4 metres uh, 570 divided by 600, which is our joist spacing, plus 1, plus 2 because we're going to have an external wall at this end and an external wall at this end, and there's no load-bearing walls in this building. So we worked that out and it ends up with 7.617 plus 1 plus 2. We round the 7.617 up to 8 because we can't have 0 0.6 of a joist. So 8 plus 1 plus 2 equals 11. So we're going to have 11 joists in this area. And there they are there. So two doubles at the end doubles at this end and then 600 centers in between. For our second area over here, again we're going to take the length dimension or the dimension uh, the, the, the way, the length of the bearer basically if you like. So area 2, 2 meters and 70 divided by 600 and this time we have to add the 1 because we don't have any extra joists over here, unlike what we had with the bearers. So we have to add the 1 and we have to add 2 because again, external wall here, external wall here, and no load bearing walls in the middle. So that comes out to 3.45 plus 1 plus 2. So that gets rounded up to 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's 7 joists for area 2. And total 11 and 7 obviously gives us 18 joists. So there's our 18 joists positioned on the actual frame. For the timber order, we're going to need 11 joists at 2.4. Again, you could go 2.1. Yeah, you could go at 2.1, um, but it's pretty close. You're only playing with 30 mil, depending on you know if you you knew the manufacturer and you knew they were going to be spot on 2.1 or a bit over then you could go with 2.1s I played it safe, I'm going to round it up to 2.4s uh, this area here uh, and oh, sorry, also on this one um, you have to lay out for some lap on this area here so yeah, you're probably better off going for 2.4s uh, and with these ones here um, 2.5s, so 2.5s get rounded up to 2.7, so 7 at 2.7 for that area. So there we go, that's the number of joists that we need 
for this floor frame. 